Now we're back. I just had a little mini disaster. Um, it was lucky it was just water, but if it was something else like chloroform or ether or something like that, you'd probably be more worried about it. But um, yeah, so I've, as you can see, I have to mop up. <laughs> anyway, so I set everything up, back up again. Had to, um, unfortunately, I don't have a lab jack, so I'm just using some crappy old books. Um, and then I've got my hot plate on top of that, and I've already it's already fallen once and sort of tilted one side, which sort of made me crap myself for a sec, but it's all right now. It's solid. Um, the temperature of the oil is is that. Um, so the boiling point is should be around this temperature. And what I've done is I've raised it and then I've added a bit of fresh oil inside just to cover the sides. I don't want to cover the whole thing because if it starts bubbling, it will bubble around the sides and smoke on the hot plate but what I'm actually watching for is the um, the temperature here so as you can see it's still very low um, I want it to be up around uh, around 50, 50 degrees 40 to 50 um, yeah so I've, I've got everything turned on as you can see you can see the condensation on my uh, condenser um, I've got a little bit of ice I might top that up a bit later but I'm not too fussed about it Just, as long as it's colder as long as it's about 5 degrees Celsius, it should be fine. And as you can see, it's on a tilt. Got a slight tilt at the end. That's for no reason at all. That's just because, the, unfortunately, the, the um, uh, receiver uh, bend that I got is a really long one. As you can see, it goes right to the bottom. And I might actually, I actually asked for a smaller one, but they didn't have any in stock. And the guy was busy, and I just bought this. So, um, so what I might do is later, I might actually break it off at, the, at a desired length. Because it's way too long at the moment, and it's interfering with the setup of the of the condenser. But yeah, so I've got my um, chloroform alkaloid solution in there, and nothing's much happening yet. Uh, I might actually tighten all my joints. Some of my joints look a bit loose. But what I've done here is another trick we learned at uni. You get an elastic band. I've used um, waistband, and you tie it around and make it taut. So instead of having uh, ket clips, which unfortunately I can't afford at the moment, they're pretty expensive I need to get definitely get one for the um, receiver um, instead I've just used this elastic band, and that's what we used to do at uni I can't do it on, I tried to do it on this side, but I can't do it, so I just put the band around that <laughs> so, yeah, so I'll, I'll come back and show you when everything's distilling and also, before I go, I just put a glass, I put some salt, a little bit of water and I'm going to crush up some ice and put it in there. And the salt and the ice and water should bring the temperature down below um, freezing. So that would be good for make holding the, the collected fresh chloroform or whatever chloromethanes I get. So, um, yeah.